Shalom, Ras Tafari. In it, Ras Yadinos Tafari name. Greetings. I am Wendem, Brother Yadon, of the Line of Jews Society of the Imperial Majesty and the Ethiopian Brotherhood. We would love to present this book to you at this present time. This is Ethiopic Grammar. Ethiopic Grammar by the great August Dillman, whom his Imperial Majesty personally named and thanked for their respective research and due diligence into the Ethiopic and the ancient Gutas language. This particular book also is another hidden gem that has not seen the light of day since it was originally published back in 1907. So once again, this document from the early turn of the century, which as many other documents were in um, university libraries, in scholarly archives, in personal and private collections. And these are the type of documents that we need in this present time as we seek the half of the story concerning we, the black people of the world. This is a key towards our divine heritage. And it's also one of the books that we utilize in the Bar Bait or in the House of Reading within the Line and Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. To give you a little bit about this book, which is which is categorized under African studies, Ethiopic language, and Christianity, or we could say early and original Christianity. Quote, Ethiopia, as is well known, has a long tradition of recorded history running back to the inscriptions of Aksum. The country has also been fortunate in its scholarship centered on the age-old schools of our church, universities of this present age, which has been the guardian of our culture throughout the ages. Ethiopia has been no less fortunate in attracting the interest of the international world of scholarship, as well as that of foreign well-wishes in far-off lands the words of the Lion of the tribe of Judah, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, elect of God, King of Kings of Ethiopia, said those particular words. The renewed interest taken in Ethiopic Semitic studies in general within these recent years, and especially by I and I as Rastafari and as Ethiopian Hebrews at home and abroad, and in particular the continued issue from the press of numerous and important Ethiopic texts, encouraged the hope that an English edition of the leading Ethiopic grammar may prove not wholly unwelcome to English-speaking students at the present time. Few competent judges will challenge the claim of Dillman's grammar to be thus described. No doubt, a long time has elapsed since its first publication in 1907, and much investigation has been applied to the language during the interval. But it may be questioned whether any of the essential principles laid down in Dillman's work have been affected by these labors otherwise than by way of confirmation or whether any facts of really fundamental grammatical importance have been added to our knowledge. In other words, Dillman, August the German linguist August Dillman's Ethiopic grammar is a cornerstone of Ethiopic of Ethiopic research, you, you know, I mean, there's a lot of other books out there, but this this particular book has not been surpassed because Dillman rightly assessed and evaluated the Ethiopic language as an ancient language, as even nearly saying straight out rightly the root of the Shemitic and the languages of the Bible. And because of that, because of his recognition of the true value of the Ethiopic language, it is our belief, or at least it's in our opinion, 
that the Almighty was able to show him the half of the story that many other writers and Ethiopian and non-Ethiopian, many of their works fall far short. Perhaps they need to get a copy of Ethiopic Grammar, or you might need to get a copy for them so that they can really build their house upon a firm rock. So this book as well, also republished by the Line of Jews Society and yours truly, is available. Go to www lojsociety.org and get your copy today. This is a very, very important book. Um, accordingly, although some useful smaller grammars now exist, notably the excellent manual published in 1886 by Professor Praetorius, and that book too is 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 on the press. It's in the press right now, so look forward to it as well. But this here is a real cornerstone. The serious student of Ethiopic must still have recourse to Dillman's work. So a, a serious student, those of you all who have been speaking about becoming serious students of the Ethiopic, of the Amharic, and of our divine heritage and ancient Ethiopian culture, you need to get a copy of this book as soon as possible. It, it, it's, it's well worth it. Remember, education is the key, and we have to invest in our education. So the serious student of Ethiopic must have recourse to Dillman's work, particularly in the form given to it in the second edition, the 1899 by Professor Bezold. Bezold translated August Dillman's work from German, and the work is also in Latin. We have those manuscripts as well. However, we don't think that our present audience or many in our present audience will be able to utilize the Latin or the German version of August Dillman's Ethiopian, Ethiopic grammar, as well as the English that we are presenting initially at first. It is from that edition that the present translation has been rendered. So August Dillman was doing his work back in the, in the 1800s, and this first was translated after his somewhat untimely um, death. And that's a whole, I think there's a whole conspiracy that was behind even August Dillman's death, and perhaps we'll be able to go into a little bit of that elsewhere. But... Lastly, but not leastly, let's just quote from the, the foreword here where His Imperial Majesty actually names August Dillman amongst others by name. His Imperial Majesty said in April 3rd, 1966, it is not necessary here to enumerate the many schools of Kine and Zema, the schools of the Old and the New Testament. The schools of the Old and the New Testament, the schools of the church fathers and the monks, the schools of history, art, and literature, but we would not pass them without mentioning the names of Yared and Afawark, so well known to you all, of foreign or fringe scholars of Ethiopia, we should like to mention the English. Bruce, or James Bruce, the German Dillman, or August Dillman, the French Halevi, I think his name was Jock, Jock Halevi, if I'm correct, the Italian uh, Guidi, um, I forgot his first name right now, but Guidi is one of them, the Russian um, Turaev, and Krachowski. So these are some of those who His Majesty um, made special mention of at the Third International Conference on Ethiopian Studies, April 3rd, 1966. And lastly, but not leastly, he goes on to mention some others, the high traditions of learning set by these and other scholars, long deceased, have been continued by the Ethiopicists of our own time, many of whom are now gathered in our capital. 
with a view of encouraging such research as the Society of the Imperial Majesty is seeking to continue in that righteous tradition of the King of Kings, of our Father. We are establishing the annual, he says, we established the annual Hala Selassie, the first prize for Ethiopian studies, which was first awarded in 1964. The distinguished French savant Marcel or Markel Marcel Cohen, and in 1965 to noted American scholar Wolf Leslau. And if you have been paying attention, Wolf Leslau's dictionary is one of the primary dictionaries that we utilize as well. Now, as we said, this book now is available, Ethiopic Grammar. Please get your copy today. Go to www lojsociety.org and click on the books tab. It's now available. Get your copy before it's too late. Shalom Rastafari.